Imagine gazing into the night sky, but instead of the familiar twinkle of distant stars, you're gifted with a crystalline view into the very heart of the cosmos, revealing secrets that have eluded us for centuries. Welcome to the frontier of space exploration, where the James Webb Space Telescope is not just making waves, but causing tsunamis in our understanding of the universe. Launched as Hubble's prodigious successor, the James Webb Space Telescope has embarked on a journey beyond our wildest astronomical dreams. But what sets it apart? Is it the glistening, intricately folded gold-plated mirrors reflecting light from eons ago? Or perhaps its location, stationed a staggering million miles from Earth, far from our planet's obscuring glow and atmospheric distortions. This telescope is not just about grandeur, it's about results. Its recent feat? An eye-opening exploration of the legendary supernova SN1987A. While supernovae are essentially stellar explosions, they're not just fireworks for our cosmic celebrations. They are alchemical crucibles, forging elements that find their way into planets, asteroids, and even life. And SN1987A is a supernova that has tantalized astronomers for decades. With Webb's unmatched precision, it delved into SN1987A's remnants, revealing structures that previously eluded even the most sophisticated telescopes. But why does this matter? Well, understanding a supernova's intricacies is like reading the diary of the universe. It holds tales of past events, current happenings, and offers predictions for future cosmic phenomena. Yet one might wonder, haven't we seen supernovae before? Why the fuss now? Remember, not all supernovae are equal. SN1987A's eruption in 1987 made it the brightest starburst to grace our skies in almost 400 years, its brilliance eclipsing all its counterparts. And, located a mere 170,000 light years away in the large Magellanic Cloud, a quaint dwarf galaxy neighboring the Milky Way, its proximity presents an unparalleled opportunity for research. What's astonishing is how Webb has pushed the boundaries, transforming this opportunity into tangible insights. This isn't merely about seeing new patterns in the sky. It's a leap in piecing together the cosmic puzzle. The structures Webb unveiled might just be the clues needed to advance not just our understanding of SN 1987A, but of supernovae in general. And here's a thought. If Webb could uncover such profound secrets from a single cosmic event, what other enigmas might it unravel as it gazes deeper into the universe? Could there be corners of space or phenomena we've not even conceptualized yet? Journeying with the web, we're not just observers. We're participants in a grand cosmic tale. But as we marvel at its revelations, one can't help but ask, what are the implications of these discoveries for humanity's place in the universe? And more crucially, are we ready for what's to come? While these questions linger, let's delve further into the intricacies of Supernova SN 1987A, a spectacle that has not only defied time, but has also now unfurled some of its most cryptic curtains, thanks to the web. Firstly, let's marvel at the sheer magic of what we're observing. When S. Aden 1987 a burst forth in 1987, the event was so magnificent, it outshone every other supernova we'd observed in the past 400 years. Not just a brief flare in the night, but a cosmic performance heralding a death. And from that death, new insights into the universe's vibrant dance of creation and destruction. Through Webb's sophisticated lens, we now see SN1987A's remnants in unparalleled detail. Among its many revelations, one stands out starkly. The center of this celestial fireworks display bears a structure resembling a keyhole. Drenched in hues of blue, this mysterious keyhole isn't just a pretty pattern. It's teeming with clumps of gas and dust, remnants from the supernova's formidable explosion. But what about the deeper, denser dust that even Webb's advanced infrared vision can't penetrate? That's where the story gets even more intriguing. This impenetrable dust shapes the dark void of the keyhole, surrounded by a dazzling equatorial ring. 
Imagine a radiant necklace, its pendant a keyhole filled with the tales and secrets of the universe. This very ring carries the scars from the past, having borne the impact of the shockwave following the supernova explosion. Yet what causes those brilliant hotspots on this equatorial ring? They're not just glimmers without a story. These spots evolved when the supernova's shockwave collided with the gas that had been expelled by the star ages before its grand detonation. And these interactions are not confined to the ring alone. Webb's imagery shows diffuse emissions around these spots, marking regions where the supernova shockwaves collide with even more distant materials. But here's a twist in our tale. The web has also captured crescent-shaped structures within the debris, patterns that even the iconic Hubble Space Telescope missed. Are these crescents purely the results of the supernova explosion? Or do they serve as an optical illusion, a cosmic mirage teasing our quest for knowledge? NASA's analysis suggests it might be a bit of both. For those of you with an insatiable curiosity, consider this. Despite decades of scrutiny, the aftermath of SN 1987A's explosion still holds unresolved mysteries. The neutron star that was anticipated to form remains elusive. Where is it? What can its absence or presence tell us? Why should a star, whose final explosive moments we've documented in such vivid detail, still remain shrouded in secrecy? Let's delve deeper into the heart of this enigma together. At the core of SN 1987A's remnants, there's an expected presence, or more aptly, an absence that challenges our understanding. After the grand theatrics of a supernova, a neutron star typically forms. But in the case of SN 1987A, it's as if a major actor has forgotten to take the stage. So where is this elusive neutron star? This isn't merely a missing piece of a cosmic puzzle. It's a profound conundrum that could redefine our knowledge of stellar life cycles. Now imagine you're an astrophysicist. You've just been handed a detective's hat. Your mission? To unravel this very mystery. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unmatched observation power, will be your magnifying glass, continuing its vigilant watch over the aftermath of this celestial event. But every tool is only as useful as the mind wielding it. Will we unearth clues to locate the missing neutron star, or will we uncover a narrative that defies every known playbook of the cosmos? Adding to the intrigue, it's not just about what's missing, but also about the unexpected surprises. Those additional crescent-shaped structures that Webb unveiled, which even Hubble overlooked, beckon a deeper look. Are they mere byproducts of the explosion, or do they hint at a more intricate dance of cosmic forces? With the possibility of these crescents providing an optical illusion due to our viewing angle, it's like the universe is teasing our curiosity, urging us to think beyond the obvious. Let me pull you closer into the narrative. These aren't just bright specks in a black expanse. They are storytellers, waiting for someone to interpret their tales. Could these crescents also be revealing aspects of the explosion we have yet to fathom? Or perhaps they're remnants of a previous stellar episode that we are yet to chronicle? As you gaze into the velvet canvas above, know that the JWST has been diligently uncovering tales of other dying remnants of stars, their last gasps echoing across time and space. For instance, the Southern Ring Nebula, captured brilliantly by the web, paints a poetic picture of the final stages of a star's life. Don't merely see it as a celestial phenomenon. Envisage it as a grand opera of cosmic proportions, the intricacy of the Ring Nebula is enough to hold any observer captive. Located a mere 2,200 light years away, this nebula is not some distant enigma. On a clear summer night with the right tools, even you can catch a glimpse of this breathtaking celestial marvel. Let that sink in, a testament to the wonders lying in our cosmic backyard. The collaboration, known as the Essence, has been instrumental in understanding the complexities of such nebulosities, revealing tales that were once hidden in the cosmic shadows. Would you believe that the bright ring of the nebula is made of approximately 20,000 individual clumps of dense molecular hydrogen gas, each as massive as Earth? And within this ring, there lies a tapestry of complex carbon-bearing molecules, 
baffling scientists with their unexpected presence. As we journey further into the heart of this nebula, we stumble upon curious spikes, shielded from the direct radiation of the central star. These spikes, prominent in the infrared, whisper tales of molecules that have found sanctuary in the shadows. The concentric arcs in the outer regions of the nebula add another layer to the story. Their formation suggests a celestial dance between two stars, a dying star and its companion, elegantly shaping the outflow and sculpture of the nebula. Have you ever wondered about the colors that paint the cosmos? How two different images of the same nebula can have such varied hues? That's the magic of the Webb Telescope, translating raw, invisible data into a vivid canvas of colors, giving us a chance to witness and appreciate the universe's artistry. Have you ever desired to look further, deeper, and in ways previously deemed impossible? That's what the JWST is all about. It's not just offering us a view, it's redefining how we witness the universe, from the most intricate details of nebulae to the vast expanses of the universe. The JWST casts its hexagonal golden gaze wide and deep. Consider this. From its vantage point about a million miles, or 1.6 million kilometers from Earth, the web has provided details about the intricate structures of celestial bodies that even the most brilliant minds had only theorized about. It's not just about seeing, but seeing with an acuity that unravels mysteries. Did you know the Webb Telescope isn't limited to studying the far reaches of the universe? Indeed, its abilities bring it closer to home as well. The rings of the planets within our very solar system, for example, have been observed with a clarity that has given astronomers a completely refreshed perspective. The very rings that have captured human imagination for centuries are now becoming clearer, both literally and figuratively. Perhaps what's most enchanting is the web's ability to transform the invisible into the visible. It peers into wavelengths our human eyes cannot fathom and, like a masterful translator, converts this into images and data that we can not only understand but also marvel at. It's akin to hearing a symphony in a frequency beyond human hearing and having it translated note for note into a beautiful piece of music we can relish. But let's pose a challenging question. In understanding the universe more, are we coming closer to understanding ourselves? The very fabric of our being, our place in the vast expanse. With each revelation from the web, we're invited to not just learn about the cosmos, but to introspect, to wonder, and to dream. Imagine a future where telescopes aren't just tools, but time machines. The JWS has already shown us a glimpse of this, pulling back the veils of time to let us gaze at moments of cosmic history. However, as technology progresses, we may not just be viewers of the cosmic theater, but also its chroniclers documenting every pulsation, explosion, and whimper of the universe in unprecedented detail. Think about it. Space observation will likely become more interactive and immersive. With the rapid advancements in virtual reality and augmented reality soon, we might not just observe galaxies, but virtually traverse them. Instead of passively looking at images of supernovae, we might virtually experience them in three-dimensional spaces, sensing the vastness, the grandeur, the very aura of these cosmic phenomena. But here's a thought to chew on. What if the future of space observation isn't just about more advanced telescopes, but a more profound human connection? As the universe unveils its secrets, might we also find parallels echoes, reflections of our very human stories, dreams, and fears? Might the vastness of space bring us closer to understanding the depths of human emotion? And what of the collective endeavor? With the democratization of technology, space observation might not remain confined to a select group of scientists. Tomorrow's astronomers could be you, your neighbor, the curious child with a gleaming eye. Collaborative space missions, Crowdsourced data analysis and public-driven explorations could be the norm. I leave you with this thought. What stories do the stars whisper to you in the silent nights? How will our next discovery shape your view of this grand cosmic dance? If this journey through space has sparked a flame of curiosity in you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't stop here. Click the video on screen to embark on another captivating adventure with us. 
the universe beckons, and there's so much more to explore together. Until then, keep looking up and keep wondering.